stopping it down now. No zebra in the clouds now. Except the top. Good, I'm good. There's our left. Call that right number two. Okay. Just let it move off. This is a slight change, dialing out all zebra. Everything's under the IRE. Correction, the last one was zebra 100 dialed out. This is zebra 95 dialed out. Let's turn the net like all the way up to 10. Let's just do it. Let's go nuts. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm going to explain to you the most painful thing that I've ever seen. Change the screen, the, the middle screen a little bit here and there. And, yeah. Zoom in on things, look at them. And then the entire thing is Hazardous driving conditions out there. Good. So I'd issue a. Uh, short-term forecast for them. Do you have FFMP up as well? Yes. Um, I would need a, a lot more activity to, uh, yeah. to justify something yeah. there. Use this as a separate angle for the same thing. Okay. Chris, what I'm looking at now is the, the, the isolated every, to scattered coverage of four times a year the afternoon hours, hours uh, then as the short wave approaches. And they, they do it um, four weeks. Higher coverage, I'll go ahead and come up to Okay. So, yeah, make like you're looking at. Yeah, some, Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's not as far back as you can get. Yeah. 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 Yeah
aerobics, the, yeah, Nicole, the abs, and Steve L. Yeah, they're down yeah. in Atlanta. So I think they're Although in some of the weights, you don't, some of the things that you don't need a lot. Yeah. Well, but it doesn't take much after that. Yesterday, they were like 80%. Okay. For today. For today? Yeah. That's good. Keep that up. I just don't see it. Yeah, when the short wave comes in tonight, this evening, we'll get yeah, better coverage. It, it and that coverage over uh, Kentucky and Ohio Valley is looking a little better. Right. Yeah. But before then, we really should expect more than um, isolated scattered coverage. Well, I'm, I'm sure Jason's all over it like a wet blanket. I'm not sure I want to be called a wet blanket. You know. Well, that's kind of a hybrid. I've been called worse. It's kind of a hybrid. Today. Yeah. Just a few minutes ago. <laughs> By you, actually. Now, that's the only thing that worries me. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be the It's going to fall apart. Yeah. What's interesting is the whole thing is going that way. It's going to be the other way. Doctor? Uh, <laughs> doctor? 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 <laughs> It's south of Akron. Yeah, right that's there. good. Keep it up. Point yeah. to the screen. Zanesville's here. I, I'm not sure what that side is right there. It's probably more like an AWAS side because Columbus is right, right there. there. sent me a text message the other day he had a cell down here he was showing 61 dbz up at like 32,000 feet from the pittsburgh radar nice so mrc thank you alabama alabama florida florida Brevard county esc Brevard county esc coast guard miami coast guard miami georgia Thank you all for coming. First of all, um, is everybody from the same organization, or the same part of Fairfax County, or what do we have represented here today? Also, emergency management, the health department. I'm actually with facilities. I'm chief building engineer for the building that they're in. Okay. Uh, so we work with them quite a bit in order to find out interesting things to do. Uh, in an interesting office, in an interesting place to forecast. Um, you know, certainly you can go to San Diego, or else it's just, you know, your normal thunderstorms battling the heat. But here you get blizzards, you get hurricanes, you get tornadoes, you get heat, cold, you know, anything in between. So just about anything you can dream up weather-wise, we can get here in the mid-Atlantic. So. Um, having too much of an intro here, I basically just want to run through uh, a few slides here to kind of give a framework of, of what we're going to be touring today and what you're going to see. Or the same thing, um, the Weather Service is a part of NOAA, which is one of the big earth science organizations in government, but they also have oceans and fisheries and the satellite service. Um, the forecast, and there's one true set of information, and well, why does everybody have different forecasts? Um, there's a lot of information that's provided by the National Weather Service. And when it comes to forecasting exactly what's going to happen in a particular part of the country or particular work on a very large scale at the, the hurricane center, the tropical prediction center down in Florida, obviously hurricane experts, but on a very grand scale, they're trying to forecast where the storm's going to track, which states, you know, the track's going to go through, um, how strong the storm. All these offices are doing similar things with similar systems you're going to see here in a few minutes. All the uh, river modeling goes into determining how high the Potomac's going to be at Harbor.